Hey, it's Pam Clark and Carrie Clark. Welcome, welcome back um, to our podcast. We are so glad to have you here with us as always. Um, today, y'all, is a continuation of our last podcast, Life Growth Area Number Three, where we're diving into spiritual apps. Spiritual out. Say the word. Spirituality. That word right there, y'all. Yes. <laughs> so we're, we're diving into that, and um, you know, just to kind of give you a recap on on our um, life growth area number two. Um, that podcast we talked about the word holy, which we defined as one of the most under, misunderstood words um, that that we know of today. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did get a chance to look at it, go back and review that for sure. Um, but today we're going to spend time talking about all them church rules, yeah. right? So um, if you've been in church as long as we have, and I won't tell you how long that's been. A long time, but decades, if you've been in by church, the way. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. If yeah. you've been in church as long as we have, um, you've seen your share of rules that are often... Um, <laughs> They're often, I guess, applied based on the church that you're attending, right? Yes. Um, some of which, most of which I would actually go on record to say, don't even apply or align, I should say, with what God's Word says, right? True. That is true. Um, so if y'all know Carrie A. Clark, and most of you do, he is really about to rock your world on that and give you just some other things to think about when it comes to those church rules. Yes. And so in this episode, uh, we entitled it, um, All These Rules. And then it's that's shortened to just say, who's making up all these rules? Who's giving you the rules that are governing your life? And where do they come from? And are they really biblical in, in, in the sense to, are, do, they, do they even have credit enough to govern your life? And why are they so difficult? Do they align with, yes. with what God's Word says? Right? Good question. Yes. Um, and so that's what this episode touches on. It actually gives you a different point of view. You know our goal is to take you from what you ordinarily think, think and take you to yeah. some extraordinary thinking. The kind of thinking like God. Speaking of which, let me just interject this right, right there for just a moment. God's thoughts are nothing like our thoughts. That means they're not normal. They're not common. They're not ordinary. In fact, the Bible or Scripture says that His ways are above our ways. It does. Higher, it more does. elevated. And so that's what we try to model ourselves and our thinking after, God-like thinking. So let's not think like the average person. Well, let's take it to the next level. And thinking like a, the average person actually limits, right? Of course. It limits those things. So anyway, y'all, we're about to just really um, tip our hand <laughs> in everything that's coming um, so what we want you to do is is continue to listen. Put your earbuds in. Make sure they're in there good. Or if you got us and you're as you're driving along, turn it up so that you don't miss what Kiri has to say. Turn it up. Turn I it like up. that. Jessica, turn oh, it up. Oh no, turn anyway, that down. So, I'm turn sorry, down. sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. okay. We don't, some people don't need to turn up. To turn I'm them down. Yes. Anyway, we will see y'all in just a few minutes on the other side of the podcast. Okay. All right, I have about five more minutes before we have to end this session. And so I want to quickly go over one principle that'll be real quick and quick and short, I hope. And it's called, who's making up all these rules? You know, when you think about life, family, work, home, whatever it is, there are some rules that we have to learn early on, and we don't end up knowing them all, and as time progresses, we pick up more rules. When you go to the office, there are rules, but I want to talk about those rules you find in your local church, and I ask a question, who makes up these rules? Is it the church making up these rules? Is it your pastor that's making up the rules? Does the deacon make up the rules? Are the rules coming from the Bible? Who has the rule book? I know there are some religions, no, some denominations within the Christian church that they have their own God book, meaning they got their own set of rules. The Baptists have a set. The Methodists have a set. The Catholics, of course, have a set. Pentecostals have a set. You name it, there are a set of rules. Muslims have sets of rules. You see, we're talking about life growth area number three, our spirituality. Not being like anyone else is the subtopic there that we want to drive home. 
Oh, around this point, now who's making up these rules? Listen to this, I wrote this some time ago. Common is the church that applies rules that even God doesn't apply. Could it be possible that in the rule book that you're trying to follow, there are rules that even God does not hold you accountable to? When you evaluate what you're doing in life, I would suggest that you take a new approach, a different approach. Let's evaluate the rules. Is this a rule that God is applying to me? Give you an example, and a real world example, and this is one of a dear friend of mine we've been studying and practicing. Who made up the rule that you should work or have to work or required to work 40 hours a week to be full time? Does full time employment simply what is what is he what does that even mean? Why does your work week have to be a full 40 hours? Why, if you finish your assignments before time, you can't just go home? And why is it that some people have to work 50 hours and they're not required to go home after 40? I would like to pose to you who's making up the rules. If you're not consulting God for the rules that govern your life, that simply means you're normal, ordinary, just like everyone else. And it means that someone else other than you are making up the rules that is governing your life. I leave you with this thought as we take a break here, and it's simply this. Who's making up the rules that govern your life? At the content that we have to share, uh, considering, you know, when we wrote it, how are we bringing it back up? And, and it just blows my mind some of the nuggets that's, that comes out of these, these life lessons, these life growth areas. In this case, our spiritual health and life growth area number three. Oh, I mean, there's some good stuff to share, you know? Yeah. And we just hope that, that y'all think the same thing and you're able to apply it. If nothing else, just take a small nugget away, yes. right? And apply it to something that you do. It's a win-win for us. Um, we do want to hear your feedback. We want to know your thoughts. Um, what did you think about that um, episode of, of all those rules and um, how it does or doesn't apply with what God's Word says? And um, we can't wait to hear from you. Kerry, I think, probably just shared his closing comments, right? Mm, close. There is something I do want to close with. You know, we have uh, other items that we can offer, more content, oh, yeah. resources that we can offer on our website. Yeah. And uh, one of which is our family plan mm -hmm. that we use to not only uh, guide us through life, but we take these nuggets that we mentioned earlier and figure out how we can insert them into different areas of our life. And that's what that family plan really allows us to do. Plan for how we execute the things that we've learned and take away and how we grow. No need in you guys making the same mistakes we did along the way. So yeah. if we can help, that's what we're here to do. So check us out. Check out everything on kerryaclark.com. Yes. Um, our products are there, links to our um, social media um, pages, or maybe not links there, but at least the handles mm -hmm. to our social media um, platforms. And one of my favorites, y'all, is no longer common. Yes. So definitely check that out. We share some some really good stuff, really good blogs on on that one as well. So anyway, y'all, we look forward to seeing y'all. We are honored that you would spend a little time with us and that you would um, listen to what we have to say. Um, we're even more honored that God chose us to use yes. this platform to communicate with you. So um, reach out to us if we can be of help. Don't hesitate, and we will see you. Life growth area number three. More to come. More to come. All right. We'll see you soon, y'all. Yeah. All right. Growth area number three, where we're diving into spiritual out. Spiritual out. Say the word. Spiritual out. That word right there, y'all. Yes. <laughs> so we're, we're diving in. Buds in. Make sure they're in there good. Or if you got us and you're as you're driving along, turn it up so you don't miss what Carrie has to say. Turn it up. Turn I like it up. that. Jessica, turn oh, it up. Oh, no. Turn that anyway, down. So, I'm turn sorry, down. sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. okay. We don't, some people don't need to turn up. I'm turn them down. Yes. Anyway, we will see y'all in just a few minutes on the other side of the podcast, okay? You know I'm going to talk about Jesse. It's all good. I love it. I want it to be this way. I'm going to turn up.
The little turn. <laughs> the little turn up. All right. There you go. All right. Outro. S three. E three. And five. Four. Three. Two.